Hey guys, this is Retro, and today I'm going to show you guys how to install the Skyrim Script Extender for Skyrim Special Edition. What is the Skyrim Script Extender? Well, if you found this video, you likely already know that you need the Script Extender to use mods that use scripts. They're usually the more advanced types of mods and usually have um, greater changes on the game compared to mods that don't use scripts. An example of this is I like to use a, a script mod that allows you to buy any piece of property that you see and then rent it out. And basically you can end up, it's kind of like Fable, you can end up owning the whole of Skyrim. Where can you find the script extender for Skyrim Special Edition? Head over to skse.silverlock.org. This will take you to the script extenders page. Now on this page, you're going to see at the top, there will be three different builds of the script extender. You are going to want, if you're following along with my series, we're modding the Skyrim Special Edition. So you're going to want the current SE build, which is 2.0.19 for Skyrim runtime 1.5.97. Now I know there's a lot of numbers there, but suffice to say, you're modding on Steam Skyrim Special Edition. Grab the current SE build, which is the one in the middle here. Click on the blue 7Z archive to begin the download. Now you can see here that this is a compressed folder, so it needs to be opened. It's an archive folder. It needs to be opened with something like WinRAR. I'm going to use WinRAR today. So save that, download that. That will take it to wherever you've specified your downloads to go to. Usually that's just, you know, downloads. Um, I'm going to drag mine for convenience to show you guys. I'm going to drag mine onto the desktop. So now the archive is on the desktop. What am I going to do with that? I'm going to double click it to open it up with WinRAR. Now you can see inside there is the folder. This is the unarchived version of the contents of that folder. SKSE 2.0019. Double click on that to take you into the folder. And here we go. Data, SRC, SKSE 64, SKSE 64 loader, README, Steam loader, and what's new. Okay, now what you're going to need to do is keep this window open and open up a separate Explorer window and pull up your Skyrim SE installation location. Mine is on program files. Well, mine is on local disk C, program files times 86, Steam, Steam apps, common, and then Skyrim Special Edition. Now, easy way to know that you're in the right place to install this is that on the left, you've got Skyrim Special Edition's install folder, and it will say Data Skyrim. And then you need to match that up with your SKSE stuff. So what you're going to want to do is highlight the important files from the, uh, the script extender folder, which will be Data SRC, SKSE64-1597, the SKSE64 loader, you don't need the README, SKSE64 Steam Loader DLL, you don't need the what's new. Drag all of that into your Skyrim Special Edition folder. It'll move the items across. Now, if you're using Vortex, you're going to want to right click on the Skyrim64 loader that is now in your Skyrim install folder create a shortcut of this and then put that shortcut on the desktop. That's how you're going to launch Skyrim if you're using Vortex. If you are watching this because you're learning how to install mod through Mod Organizer 2 with me, don't worry about creating a shortcut for this. Go into Mod Organizer 2. Now, if you had Mod Organizer 2 the whole time when you were installing this, the script extender won't show up. Close the Mod Organizer, open it again after you've installed the script extender into your Skyrim installation folder and it should appear as SKSE in the drop-down bar. Always launch Skyrim from now on through Mod Organizer 2 as SKSE. How can you tell if you've installed this correctly? Well, boot Skyrim up, load a save. Once you are in the game, in a save properly, just pause the game, go across the system, and you'll see in the bottom left it'll say 1.5.97 SKSE, 2.0.1. The numbers will change based on when you've installed Skyrim Script Extender. So for example, if you're in the future, 
it's going to be different. However, the principles are the same. Once you've installed the script extender, the numbers will appear down here, and so will SKSE64. That's how you know that you've successfully installed it and ran it properly through SKSE through Mod Organizer 2. Guys, if this video has been helpful or informative, please consider subscribing. We're going to be doing more of these Skyrim mod videos as we go forward. If you've been following along my previous video and now this video, we currently have a really nice base. We have the mod organizer set up and now we have the script extender set up and working correctly, which means that we can now get on with installing all of our mods. So keep an eye out for the next videos, which will show you how to change the basic textures of the game. And then the big one, which I think really shows people that the big difference is the character overhauls. Thanks for watching. Peace.